Hello, my name is James. I am a developer with Volgrid, and I created the new feature for Creo that allows you to change the column widths for your header items. And I'm going to create this video for you today to show you how to use this new feature. So first off, in your customizer, you're going to go to Design, Header, Layout. And you'll see a new area, Column Widths, here. And it'll have some sliders indicating the column widths of the various header items you have in your design. I'm using the default starter content to demonstrate this for you today. And the default content shows six columns for each item. This is because the header design is designed around 12 columns total per for each row. So since we have two items, it's divided in half, six for each one. If we had three columns, by default it would have each one with four items, or four columns per item. Anytime you add the number of columns in a row and it, it exceeds 12, you're going to have a rollover. For example, we adjust this to seven, and the menu rolls over to the next row. So ideally, in most designs, you're going to want to have these numbers add up to 12 for any given row. For example, you have row 1 branding, row 2 menu, each one needs to have 6. Now, if you have a second row, like here, we add another section, and uh, let's say we throw like a search widget in here. Add a search widget. And go back to our layout. Now, when you add a new item, it's going to tell you that you need to refresh the customizer before you can adjust the column widths. So, when we do this, you have two options. You can either click publish, or if you're worried about the public seeing your changes before you have a chance to adjust the widths, you can go to Save Draft, click here, and Refresh. Now, when we get back here, we're going to see the slider in place for our new item and be able to adjust it from there. So now we see how we have the row one branding, row one menu, each one taking up six columns like we expect here. Now we have row two widget area. And by default, the slider is going to show one. However, until you actually adjust this, it's going to say have the same default behavior it had before, which is to take up a uh, percentage of the screen based on how many items there are in that row. So let's go ahead and set this to how we want it. Let's say we actually do only want one column. Do this here, it's going to make it tiny and really mess up our design. We're probably not going to want that. But we can adjust it to, let's say, four. And that's going to give us the result here. Now, one thing to keep in mind, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this here first because we don't really want a random search bar here at the time anyways. So one thing to keep in mind is the responsive layouts of your menu. So you have four icons here, which indicate different display types. This is going to be your large screen for you know, uh, wide display monitors. This is going to be for standard desktop displays, tablet, and phone. So as long as you don't adjust any of these, they're going to maintain their default behavior. However, it's a good idea to take a look and see how this menu appears 
on a given device based on uh, your column width settings. So for example, on this, having these next to each other isn't necessarily ideal. So we're going to take advantage of how these roll over if you go over 12 by setting both of these to 12. That way we can ensure that each one is going to be in its own row. And we can do the same thing for, the, for your tablet if you want. Sometimes that's going to be necessary based on the number of items you have. Sometimes it won't be. But like I said, it's important to check your column width appearance on different layouts to make sure that it appears how you want. So if anybody has any questions, please feel free to reach out to us on support and we'll be able to answer any other questions you have regarding this feature or any other features. I hope this video has been helpful for you and everybody have a wonderful day.